so welcome back to my channel this was not supposed to be a flight attendant vlog first of all but while i'm uh showing y'all a little bit of my life you know i just got to give you the spiel about you know i don't represent my company just showing y'all what happens on the day to day this is my life this is what i do and i just want to give y'all a little taste okay so yeah this wasn't supposed to be a flight attendant vlog at all i'm supposed to be getting into my birthday shenanigans because my birthday is in like three days but after this i'm definitely gonna give y'all uh my birthday shenanigans okay so but i guess this would be a cute little vlog for y'all to see just really quick and i could you could consider this as a like part one i guess okay so stay tuned and enjoy hey y'all so i'm at the airport i feel like i'm always at the airport when i'm talking to y'all i'm at the airport about to go on a trip right now but first i need to get snacks for my crew because I'm flying the best airline ever. I'm a flight attendant. I work for the most prestigious airline. Prestigious airline. Boy. Okay, the best airline ever. And I gotta get them some snacks. I got the crew some chocolate. We love chocolate. So whenever you fly, bring your flight attendant's chocolate. Hey, what's today, Tuesday? Everybody going to Vegas today. So yeah, I'm going to Vegas with my cousins. <laughs> it's like deja vu all over again. Another Vegas trip. Flight to Vegas part two. vacation right now well, almost my real vacation started on my birthday but here I am back on the airplane I really dread this because I have not been one to be at work but I'm literally here not working but it's cool I'm so happy to be on vacation though yes it felt like it's so crazy right in my airline I really did not ever want to be on a plane again but here I am then I had to be on mine Anyways, I'm ready to go to Vegas and hang out. Got all these people wanting to fly my world famous, prestigious. <laughs> world fam I told y'all world famous prestigious airline. <laughs> my favorite. <laughs> A few moments later. Oh I'm so embarrassed. Fortunately, uh, we've, uh, one of our crew members is uh, not feeling well. And so we're, we're actually going to have to wait to get another uh, flight attendant here. So what we're going to be doing here is deboarding here once uh, Yikes. next uh, few minutes. I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Alright y'all, so we just had to the plane. I'm a little embarrassed. <laughs> But a crew member got sick. Whatever. COVID. Right, like, why? He was all, I don't know. That's what I was thinking. Maybe I should. <laughs> I can put on my uniform. I'm not supposed to be at work right now. I'm on vacation. But whatever. <sighs> I, must, I might try that. Sky job. I might be working. <laughs> I'm actually calling crew scheduling right now to see if I can work it. Let's see. This is like out of, I never expected this. And I'm at the Cleveland airport. They have a, uh, some difficulties. They said they need a flight attendant up here. And I'm, I'm I got my, uh, I got uh, my uniform and everything. If y'all need a flight attendant. Okay. Awesome. 
She was traveling on the flight, so we do thank her and we appreciate that she is uh, volunteering to operate the flight. Again, if you would still like to get your money back and you do not want to travel, that is the only option. Y'all, so it's official. I'm working the flight. That's crazy. Um, I'm getting ready to just do it four hour long. I wouldn't do this if my family wasn't on a flight, but it's cool. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! <laughs> um, this this time I'm gonna start off my vacation. We're boarding now, and I'm the A. I have not been the A in years. Oh my god, wish me luck. <laughs> they were so nice. All the passengers were so nice. Just got done working that crazy flight. They've got a surprise for me. Oh my gosh! You got a pink one? I bet that one. That's for me. I got the one pink one for me. I got oh, a white one too. Yep. You really got me some shirts. Yep. Oh my god, it looks so crazy. Straight from work, y'all. Red and medium. Thank you, honey. This is the best birthday ever. It got, it got my ah! I cannot wait to show y'all. This is what I'm here for. <gasps> oh my God, thank you. I love you. Give me a kiss. Oh my God, I'm so happy. Oh, I'm so happy. Now my spirit's lifted. Gonna be all day tomorrow, so people can follow you that's so sweet oh my god okay so yeah i'm gonna get into the story later um i just got off work literally <laughs> um this vlog was not supposed to be about that right now but um it is what it is and i'll i'm really about to get started on my trip for real see because look at this this is a good, perfect way to start this trip <laughs> thank you yes Got this beautiful view. This is just brand new and they just small white one. Okay, now it's time for the story time. Um today is the next day and I gotta really get into my birthday stuff because I did not expect to be so delayed. <laughs> So yeah, I was literally not expecting to get so delayed or even let alone work a whole flight on my vacation. So I'm gonna just give a quick, quick, quick story time while I get ready for, you know, part two Vegas birthday shenanigans. Okay, so it all started. You know, I, I like to come to Vegas for my birthday now. It's like a tradition to me. So I just come to Vegas real quick and I'm I'm here for another project as well besides, you know, just being here for my birthday. But anyways, I'm here. Um, I had my whole family come out to Vegas um, to hang out with me just to have a little celebratory, you know, just outing and do some fun stuff. But um, I got to the airport. I'm, I'm thinking everything is all good, but you know, we get on, we board, and you know, I'm a flight attendant, for those of y'all don't know, I'm a flight attendant, obviously. And I get there and I see, 
you know, you know, they be shuffling, doing stuff. We ain't take off yet. First of all, we boarded late. The plane was a little bit late. You know, people was already a little bit mad about that. So when the plane got here, I'm like, okay, cool. We boarded. Everything was fine and dandy. But I pay attention, okay? I pay attention to my surroundings. I know what's going on. Like, I know exactly what's going on. So I'm like, dang, we still sitting here. I see maintenance. I see the gay agent that's still on the board and everything. And... Okay, so when I start seeing stuff like that, I'm like, oh, I already know this, but uh, something going on up there. Something going on. They ain't saying nothing. Because, you know, they just trying to keep everybody calm. You know, at first, first, it wasn't mechanical. It was just a little paperwork issue. You know, that's the first thing they told us that's what it was. And I'm like, okay, uh, hopefully it's really not nothing. But from experience, I know it's something, okay? It's something, and it ain't going to be resolved anytime soon so he's just sitting there everybody's getting a little agitated because they realized he was just sitting there we were sitting there for a minute and then the captain came on uh the announcements and he was like well uh you know it's mechanical and then maybe about 20 minutes later he came on and said uh good news uh the mechanical is fixed but bad news yeah they like to play those type of games they said bad news is flight attendant passed out <laughs> that's definitely that threw everybody i'm like what a flight attendant passed out they sick what is going on first thing i thought was like okay that does not sound good at all so yeah i said that is not good news at all um i just knew they was up there playing games i'm like ain't nobody passed out what's going on he looked fine to me but then i did remember it was a guy he he was he looking a little sick like i could i could see like he was when i greeted him he was in the front he was the lead position flight attendant so um i mean i never worked with him before he, he looked all right but i just could tell like i could tell he was like a little bit off he was just he was a little bit off i ain't gonna lie but he was fine he was fine he was nice i gave him that candy i'm like i'm thinking we about to have a good flight but nope flight attendant passed out okay he got sick they they pulled him out on the stretcher he was gone he disappeared okay that was that so the next announcement ended up being that we was gonna have to get off the plane because you know they needed a new flight attendant they was gonna have to fly one in pull one from somewhere but you know and i know well no y'all don't know <laughs> we was in cleveland where are they gonna fly the flight attendant at it, cleveland is not a base and from experience it's not easy to just fly a flight attendant in i mean sometimes it is sometimes it ain't it's not enough of us to be doing stuff like that especially because somebody was sick you know like calling out in the middle of a trip that's like that can literally cancel cancel a whole flight potentially so they made us get off the plane um i was talking to the flight attendants up front and they were just giving me all the real tea I, he really did he was really sick i guess the boy he didn't eat all day. He on some crazy crash diet. Like he told them that he was he was not feeling good that whole time. So when like COVID or nothing or whatever it was, he was he was just faint. Like he was just faint. And I'm like, okay, okay, yeah, that that is kind of sad. So we had to get off, and you know they said they're gonna find another flight attendant. So yeah, I was kind of mad too, and I was a little bit embarrassed because. I had, um, uh, I was just sitting next to people and they were just so mad. You know, I'm used to hearing it as a flight attendant, but I'm a passenger this time. And I like, dang, now I'm kind of mad. My whole family is with me. And I'm like, oh. I told them like, they should expect a little bit delays. But my airline was the only airline that they flying in like early. Cause I wanted to get to Vegas super early and I fly all types of airlines. I don't care. I don't discriminate. I just need to get to where I need to go. So I flew my airline and I got a good discount. So it is, it is what it is. So that day, they were just off that day. So anyways, we looking for a flight attendant. I'm sitting in the, um, you know, I'm sitting down. I'm like, I'm, I'm so embarrassed y'all. I'm so sorry this is happening. And then a light bulb, light bulb just went off in my head. I think somebody, my boyfriend said like, oh baby, I put your uniform on and go, go work. I didn't even think about nothing like that. It, it did not hit me. <laughs> it did not hit me until he said that. I'm like, wait, can I even do that? No, like, I was really thinking, like, wait, can I do that? Can I really, like, step in and save the day here? Because I never did that before, and I didn't know it was, like, some type of 
like thing I could do. I did not think about it. I was with my family. I'm on vacation. This is my day off and everything. So um, I just walked up to the gate. Let me find out. I get to the gate. The gate agent literally was like, I was looking for you. I knew we had a flight attendant around here. Like she saw me. Like I be wearing my, you know, my my uh, badge and all that stuff when I fly, just to let people know who I am. And you know, I'm here to help. And essentially, I did help that day. So yeah, she was like, I knew we had a flight attendant around here. I'm like, what? Just what? What? I'm I'm here. You saw me traveling, like. And I don't know why they would just assume or even think that I would even want to step in and help. I didn't even know I could even do something like that. I didn't even know I could just call in and be like, hey, give me this trip, whatever. I don't know. I'm sure I can do it, but not in the situation I was in. Like, this was just totally left field, random. And yeah, so like I'm sure crew scheduling that's the people we call you know who makes our schedule I'm sure they didn't even get wind of what, what was going on in Cleveland yet so I'm like wow I didn't know you could just um just step in if you, you're a crew member and can literally work a whole flight on your day off whatever so she was like when she was just talking about how happy she was to see me I'm like hmm so I said um if y'all need any help um, I'm here, um, you know, I'm a flight attendant. Yeah, she knew, she's looking for me anyway. But I said, if y'all need any help, um, I'm here. And she called her supervisor immediately. He was like, we got a flight attendant, let's go. But you know, you gotta go through, you know, certain stuff to get that type of stuff approved. So she actually said I had to call scheduling. So I had to call scheduling to now ask them if I could get this trip because, so I called scheduling and I was like, hey, it's Monet, um, employee number, blah, blah, blah. And I'm in Cleveland. Our flight just got, like, you know, delayed. The flight attendant passed out. I'm here. I got everything with me at this point. I got everything with me because I always travel with my stuff. I just do like, thank God that day I really had all my stuff. I had my required duty items and everything. I never unpack my luggage. I don't know why. I just keep everything in my little tote that I carry around. I keep everything in there. And I have my uniform to get through um, KCM, known crew members, so I can, you know, bring like the stuff I need, like my mouthwash and stupid stuff like that. So I had all my stuff. <laughs> I told them, I'm like, I got my whole uniform. I got everything with me. So if y'all need anything, she's like, oh my God, um, I'm gonna put you on hold. You know, we gotta make sure uh, everything is legal and you know, gotta check for everything to be legal, you know, make sure everything good. So I was on hold for like 30 minutes. At that moment, I just knew since they was even thinking about it, that this was a possible chance that I could actually do this thing. You know, I'm like, they a little too excited. I'm thinking I'm about to call. I'm like, it's my day off, but I'm here. I'm just calling just to BS at this point, <laughs> you know, just to see some, just to see. And she was like, let me put you on hold. We about to get this, we about to get this going, okay? Thank you. <laughs> so, so, um, I rushed to the bathroom, you know, changing to my outfit and all that stuff. Cause I just knew they was about to, they was about to approve, approve me ASAP. I'm like, wow, this is crazy. I didn't even know you could do this. Like I, this was my official day off. I was on vacation and everything. Like I didn't know I could just be like, Hey, um, I'm here. I want to work a flight. Let's just do it. You know, I did not know we could do that that way. At least like, I know we can pick up stuff out of like a, a system where stuff is already available but that trip wasn't even it wasn't on nobody's radar it wasn't on scheduling's radar yet they just needed a new flight attendant they didn't even know that they needed a new flight attendant until i called <laughs> so they got me with that one the gay agent got me with that one but i didn't care i was with my whole family and you know the light bulb did click off so it is what it is i called she uh in 30 minutes, she approved me. So I had my uniform on and everything. I'm like, well, I'm here. Crew scheduling said I could do it. Um, what's the tea? Let's go. And then, um, yeah, I got to the gate. They said, um, 
yeah i'm approved and all that my schedule is updated but they just had to wait for more pa paperwork because you gotta have like everything checking out so they're just waiting for the company to send on the final paperwork with me on the flight list now so he's waiting for that and then the gate agent was another gay agent she came on a he came on the announcements was like we have a crew member here you guys she volunteered on her own time on her own vacation to be here with you guys i'm like y'all didn't have to put me on spot like that okay so i rolled my happy self down to the jet bridge thinking you know everybody was so happy and i'm about to get this over with let's just do it i get on the plane i see uh the, the crew sitting there you know they chilling they they thought the uh they thought the show was not about to go on they saw me honey <laughs> the looks i received was not nice now actually it was only one bad look I saw. The other, it was another lady, she was so nice. She was the one that was working up front with me. She was so happy to see me again. Cause she was uh, talking, I was talking to her before all this happened, so she was nice. But one of them was not so nice. And I'm gonna tell y'all about that a little bit later, okay? So yeah, they saw me and it's like, girl, no. What are you doing here? You're on vacation. What are you doing here? I, did they call you for this? Like, they was just baffled to see me. Um, Like, they like, girl, what are you doing? You was on vacation. So yeah, as soon as I got on, they was like ready to board. And I was ready too, because like I told y'all, like my whole family on board, it's, it's a full flight, 186 people completely full of flight sold out people ready to go to vegas it was people's birthdays people was getting married like like i know all these things because i was a passenger and i heard like all everybody conversations like and it was just a, it was a full flight everybody was so happy to uh go to vegas that day until that happened and i'm like i'm so embarrassed that this is happening so i was kind of i was happy to be there at that moment so i'm down i did my equipment checks all that good stuff and I realized I'm the A position. Oh my gosh, y'all. I have that the A position is the lead position. That's when you like kinda in charge. You you got the most responsibility, you know. And I don't like that. You talk on the announcements and I hate talking on announcements because I hate the sound of my annoying voice. But I haven't been the A in literally two years. I don't bid for that position. I don't bid for positions where um I talk on announcements. I, that's just not my thing. I'm just so nervous. We about to start boarding. Literally everybody came on so happy because I was the first person they see. I replaced the person that greets everybody. I'm the A, I'm the lead. So I was in the front. I was the first person they saw when they came on. And it was like, oh my God, thank you so much. Every last, almost every single last one of them. Like, you know, I, I hate talking. I hate being in the front, but that, that was actually pretty nice to, you know, be greeted. Everybody was happy this time on my usual usual flights people just be mad like mad before they even get to the plane about something ready to cuss me out say they hate my airline and everything right when they step on and that's why i like being in the front but i was literally the first face they saw and it was so freaking nice everybody was like oh thank you you're my hero my savior i'm like please stop this is too much this is too much for real i'm not that type of person for real i'm, I'm not gonna lie but it was it was really nice i had to you know my cheeks i had to smile for like 30 minutes straight thank you oh my god yes high five elbow all that crazy stuff <laughs> they was not letting up on me up in the front little my little do they know i got social anxiety um you know okay i got social anxiety i got over it it made me happy but yeah they was bringing in candy and everything so we got um, the passengers seated and you know, I did my thing and my lovely flight attendant up front, she can like, she got on announcement again, like, oh my, giving me more praise that I, my big head self do not need. And she got on and said, again, round of applause for Monet. I'm like, oh my God, everybody started cheering, screaming. Oh my, like, this, this was literally the best day of work I ever had in my life at this point got this much respect on my name they they dog me out every other day but this day this is like a sweet cool birthday gift to see everybody literally happy for me like i did this for y'all and i did it because my family was on board of course but i i, I really did it because I, I needed to go to vegas so whatever i'm here let's go <laughs> you know the flight was four hours long it's a good flight again i was getting more and more praise 
and it was just too much for me <laughs> at that point but i loved it i loved it and okay so skip to the end uh but not even skip to the end i forgot i got to tell y'all about homegirl the one that was not happy to see me yeah she is not happy to see me at all and the reason she was not happy to see me is because you know like i said i know but y'all don't know is that she she thought the flight was gonna get canceled uh, i guess she was tired she didn't want to work that day she saw me instantly and was just not happy like she was like girl what are you doing <laughs> what are you doing here get away so yeah like i get it like i get it we both flight attendants we all love a good break like she probably was tired hungry whatever with us but she literally just started that day it was day two for her i don't know if she's going through mentally or personally but like we all have our own you know we all have our own days like if you didn't want to work that bad make girl maybe you should have fainted or something did something but don't be mad at me like that it was it was just the nerve like she was rambling like she was so nasty she is just not happy at all so i'm like girl what is the deal like she was so mad like just mad huffing and puffing about her eyes whole flight i mean she was still talking to me regular but then it just clicked to her head again how i'm literally in her face i took away her whole dreams that day okay she dreamt of going back to bed in cleveland or being uh ferried and ferried me like i mean being deadheaded or something back home like she sis thought she was about to go home it was it, it was over <laughs> when that dude fainted i'm like girl you didn't care you, you didn't care about your co-worker fainting you just wanted to go home and i'm like okay i get it it's it's whatever girl i'm like we've been doing this for three years already um you ain't new to this this happens they was gonna find somebody you was not gonna just go home like i don't know what you was thinking but that was just so rude to just take it all out on me and i everybody happy on a plane but her like why would you even i could see if you felt that way internally but i would never sit out sit up here and be all be out loud with the negative energy she even told my coworker she didn't like the speech she made about congratulating me, I mean, praising me for being on a flight. Like my coworker up there was so nice to, you know, acknowledge me. And she was like, and I don't even like that speech she made. We should have been here. Uh, this, uh, she was not happy at all. I ain't gonna put her business out there or nothing like that, but she was just not pleasant. At that point, I didn't care about how you feel. I just didn't care. Just like passengers didn't care. I was a passenger. I paid heck of money to come to Vegas. It's my birthday. Like she knew it was my birthday. She knew my family was on board and everything. She just still just did not care. She wanted to go home. <laughs> and I ruined all of that for her. In her eyes, I ruined all of that for her. Little does she know, crew scheduling, she knows what's up. I don't know why she just took it out on me. Like I, she acted like I snatched all her hope and, hopes and dreams away. Like you was at work, you on the clock. What do you think? You're gonna get a prize for your flight attendant friend passing, your uh, coworker passing out? Like, I don't get it. She was on some mess that day. But even like I said, you could feel that way, but to be up there all pouty like she was, was not it. So yeah, um, just to wrap up this story, that's what happened. Um, I saved the day. Homegirl was not happy about it. I landed, I like, I got good tips. They tipped me really well when I did service. Everybody was just nice, except for her. And like the moral of this whole thing is that sometimes it takes a, I was over stuff like that happening anyway. I'm like, I, I'm i a flight attendant. Like, yeah, I see this happening all the time. Stupid stuff happening all the time. And it's so annoying. And to, for, for it to happen to me firsthand, for my family, family to witness it, I'm like, this is so embarrassing. Like, people really be having stuff to do, spending so much money. Like, it wouldn't, it takes, it didn't take for me to experience it firsthand personally. But as a flight attendant, I see how upset people be. I'm like, yeah, y'all wanna, y'all, uh, flight attendants like her, like, you don't wanna work. You happy when stuff get canceled. Like, yeah, like I said, I get it. Y'all love a good break. But at some point, like, this is happening enough. Like, this is enough. It was 186 people on board happy to go to Vegas. At some point, me personally, I'd be over stuff like that myself. I'm, I just want to get people to where they got to go and get it over with. Like, this is what I'm getting paid for. This is what I signed up for. Like, it's nothing. Um, I'm not going to sit up there pouting and complain about not getting canceled or staying in my hotel room a little bit longer. It's not that deep to me. Yeah, but 
besides all that moral of the story is, is is that like i'm grateful that i got to save my birthday and whatever these other people have to do like i said some people's on the flight getting married uh birthdays other birthdays all types of stuff it was good like i'm happy i actually got to make a difference this flight this was like the best day i ever ever had at work everybody was really good they was everybody was happy and usually when stuff like that happens i, I get cussed out but no it, it was a it was good they treated us well okay so i'm all done with my makeup and just the um like i said the moral of the story is that um you know i did i did what i had to do at that point i was a passenger i i felt like you know i i know what it feels like to be you know in their shoes and the passenger shoes so it was just completely embarrassing not right that all these delays and the cancellations be happening due to stuff that's not out of uh, our passengers control and like i said um it's just it's too much it's happening too much for comfort even for myself as a flight attendant as a passenger whatever it's just happening too much uh for my comfort so i'm like girl you know um you're gonna get canceled again another day okay so it's okay it's okay relax <laughs> anyways um that's the end of this vlog i hopefully well vlog slash story time which was not ever supposed to happen but i'm happy i got the content all filmed for y'all so um i'm about to continue on with my birthday okay because i I have stuff to do like i said i'm doing a good i'm doing a huge huge rebranding and i can't wait to share that with y'all in the next few vlogs so stay tuned for that hopefully i enjoyed uh talk to y'all later thanks for watching